such sad face. Oh well. Moving on. If you can't go forward, go back. Hmm. Ah, hello. Completely missed that, because I'm inept. do this on Xbox 360 I think it was and the controls to do this part was a nightmare because on mouse it's easier I can just angle myself and click instantly whereas the controller you've got to just veer over there and just hope that you get the crossfire right PC you've got so much time you can just spam the mouse around so this way and that way God. There we go. That looks easy on mouse, but it's so much harder on Xbox. We switched on more gel. Oh great, more barren stuff. Psst. Greetings, friend! I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Eh. Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. No, nope. couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. <laughs> What's that? Number 23. Oh. Please take a number. Your number is 426. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Let's try and do my impressions. Professional impressions. I'm totally sitting in that chair. Totally. Hello and welcome to Aperture Science Laboratories. How may we help you? Oh, you do, do you? Oh, please take a number, and he will be with you shortly. Thank you for your time. Number 44. <laughs> From this distance here, it looks like a bingo. <laughs> number 88, two fat ladies. You know what that means, ladies. It could be bingo for us all. <laughs> I remember going to one with my nan. Oh my god, it was so boring. I mean, I was being hospitable, but she wanted to go. That's her heart. But I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she does the bingo. It's so boring. It really is. There was one lady, I can't remember her name, but she just turned the wheel so slowly. So incredibly slowly. She wasn't even elderly. It was just like a teenager. Like, I can't be asked, sort of thing. Which I thought was hilarious at first, but then it just got boring after a while. And I think it went on for what, like five, maybe six hours? Probably even longer. And it was only one game. <laughs> In the end, she won 50 quid and we got some chips. Can't go wrong. Worth the wait. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. Hang in there, kitty. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. Wow. 
a bit much. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Ew, I don't really want to open that door either. What's this all about? Borealis? Borealis? I don't know what that means. But I think it's just, it must be a ship name because it's got the life preserver here. And there it looks like there was a remnant of a ship. Hmm. But what was the ship? What did it look like? What did it do? What will it do? Was it even built? See, you get so many questions. I can't even answer one. Besides, was it even a ship? I guess since there's a life preserver, it could be a boat for all I know. Then why would you have a ship, to be honest? Science. Okay, let's head down to the control room. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow murder this bird for me? No. Ow. Ow. No. Ow. No, wait. Just kill it and we'll call things even between us. No hard feelings. Please get it off me. Ugh. Fine. Oh, thanks. Go on. It's off. Did you feel that? That's a lie. This is such a lie. Tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Mm. Even if I am lying, what do you have to lose? You're going to die either way. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. I think I hear the bird. Pick me up. Why? Well, I kind of thought of that from the beginning, to be honest. I mean, if we let him become in charge, he doesn't know what he's doing. There's lots of critical things that, that you need to keep a facility running. Power, connectors, water, food, the test chambers in her way, pipes. You know, a lot of things that need to be maintained at all costs. Nope. Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Oh, where are we? How long have I been out? That extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball. That little idiot is going to... Calm down, calm down. We'll deal with him in due time. And what I mean by in due time, I mean ASAP. While I was out? We went up the elevator. I cut the loading screens. I drunk some Mobina. I had some squashies. And I'm having another one. The mm. testing area is so just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you... Your guesses are as good as mine. What's that up there? Thank you for keeping our enrichment spheres clean. Yeah, it's not clean. Mind you, actually, yeah. Keeping, the, keeping them clean. But you don't keep them from being fucked. Thank you for not sorting out our maintenance problems. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. 
Let's try this. Yes, marvelous. Fabulous, darling. This is fabulous. There's a cube in the wall. Problem solved. They can remember partially of this stuff. As I said before, but it's it, it's the thing about portal. You can play as much as you want, but you'll just forget about it, and it's great. But some of the stuff I am like, what, 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 what? What is this nonsense? Mind you, after Portal 2, we've still got Portal Stories now. I can't do Thinking with Time Machine, sadly, because they never actually patched a problem which I had ever since my first laptop. And that since it ends, they're never going to patch it. It's it's unsupported, so it's, it's that one I will not be recording. It's too corrupt. I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. Calmly. Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit that red button. <gasps> well, the subscribe button. <laughs> gotcha. Those people in the portrait. They look so familiar. It's you. Well, I wouldn't really say it's you, but it's sort of you. There's two bodies in one AI. Uh, I kind of knew that from the beginning. That'll work. Ow. Talk about rude. Marvelous. Fabulous. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Great job, <laughs> astronaut, <laughs> war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world! This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. 